The anniversary event on World of Tanks console is finally live and today we get to see exactly what comes with this event and I'm going to cover everything that you need to know alongside giving you a little bit of a heads up for today's stream which will feature on the World of Tanks console Twitch and I believe may even be on the YouTube channel as well whereby I will be part of of the stream so if you're watching it right now you're probably going to be able to see me in the stream so head on over and uh, watch me live with of course uh, some of the world of tanks team um, and yeah we'll be doing a little stream just to showcase some of the new content and go over some thoughts i have no idea what we're going to talk about but probably a load of rubbish um, so yeah given if i'm there it will probably be a load of rubbish either way uh, straight into what this video is all about we're going to cover the brand new tank which is the uh, this one right here that you can see on the screen. This one's actually uh, quite an interesting one. It's a free tank. If you've played over seven years of World of Tanks console, uh, you will be able to pick up this tank for free. It will appear in your garage and should be there right now, which is amazing for anyone that's played a long time. But what about if you haven't played a long time? Well, uh, if you've only been playing for one or two or three years, there's a variety of different kind of uh, levels to which you can pick up this tank uh, for a discount and essentially what it is is that the MBTB which is this tier uh, 10 heavy tank uh, which you can see here this one will be available for discounts depending on how long you've played the game. So if you played seven years, obviously we said free. If you played six years, it's a 90% off. Uh, five years, you get 75%. Four years, 60%. And it goes down in 15% increments. So the first year that you've played on the game will be a 15% discount. And if you haven't played up to a year, you will have to pay full price for this vehicle, which is 25,900 gold. And of course, very expensive. Expensive. But either way, if you've played a lot of World of Tanks console or have had your account for a long time, you'll be able to get this one for entirely free, which is nice to see that Wargaming is start to, starting to introduce kind of loyalty rewards for playing the game. Should there have been a specific reward that I think could have been really cool to add for 10-year veterans, people who have been there since the beta, absolutely. Um, but unfortunately, it doesn't seem like we're going to get that, at least from what I understand of the news so far. Maybe, maybe down the line, maybe at the end of the anniversary event, Wargaming might do something. We just don't know yet. Um, but if you aren't kind of interested in that, there are a few, few free login gifts uh, that you'll get when you log in now as of the recording, as of the publishing as long as you get in to World of Tanks console between now and the 5th of March, you'll be able to pick up three Celebration War chests and you've probably already seen the 10 year display uh, that will be part of your garage uh, and so you can add that into your own garage if you really want to. So it's just this literally right here. But either way, that is not the only thing today. We, of course, have a brand new Marder VTS-1, and we'll cover the statistics of both of these in the actual game slightly later in the video, but we'll give the overview of what's actually in the game so you don't miss out on anything or you think, where the hell did this one actually come from? But Marder VTS-1, it's a Cold War vehicle. Uh, however, you do have to actually purchase this one. It isn't available for free or anything like that. So yeah, you're going to have to actually purchase it. And for the cheapest price that you can get is 12,900. Then you've got a 20% discount for the loaded version, which is 14,600. And then the top version of the tank is 16,600. It's an era two vehicle uh, that is a light tank and the first of the German light tanks in Cold War, which is cool. Um, and essentially we can cover that in the game uh, when I jump on. But of course, that's not the only thing, MBT uh, B, which we're getting uh, alongside a variety of other rewards that come alongside uh, today. So we'll have the Valentine's Day challenge where you can essentially get some Valentine's themed emblems uh, and inscriptions that you can get in the game. All you have to do is basically play the game. You'll get them over time uh, and you can get earn three and a half thousand or more vehicle XP in any number of battles. And you'll get one of the following drops, which is uh, these emblems that you can see on screen right now. So you'll get one of these if you pick up three and a half thousand XP. 
um, and that's kind of cool. I believe it's repeatable from what looks like it, and so you can just get a load of emblems. It just depends on how much you want to play. Um, and then you've got Fallen Voice as a special bonus this week. All tank commanders who log in will receive the Fell Imperator 2D Standard Commander for free. So you'll be able to get this one. Uh, it starts off with one open skill slot and earns Commander XP at the regular rate. So you just basically have a basic commander uh, that is just a skinned version of a standard commander in the game. Uh, premium tech tree sales there are a ton of sales this week which come in uh, for free xp and gold uh, and essentially what you'll see here is that uh, you can use either gold or free xp which is good and uh, of course if you've got a ton of free xp maybe you saved up maybe you converted it you can have these sales as well but uh, you can see here these are the list of tanks there are a ton of them uh, i'll go through kind of some of the ones that are more interesting we've got the hellcat 105 here the Bogatier KV220 is a good one at low tiers. Absolution, uh, you've got things like the Creature, which is a novel and unique tier 7 um, that has a big, big derp gun. Uh, it's not particularly OP or anything like that. It is just a big, big tank. Uh, you've got the uh, what the uh, Diamondback, the Iron Rain, and you have things like the Object 268 version 5, the turreted version of the Object 268. Uh, you have the FE4211 for Cold War, which is an amazing premium vehicle, um, and the AMX 13 SS11 TCA, which is the light tank with missiles, which is cool to play. Uh, and so, yeah, just a generically very good week in terms of the sales, but it just depends whether you actually want to spend money on them that is ultimately what it is um as far as anything else well we've got the wallet saver nm116 which is the post-war era vehicle not the world war ii tank destroyer uh, and that's 6,000 gold you've got the german tier 8 heavy tank which is the vk 7501k which is also a part of the kind of uh i guess personal offers is what they kind of call them or you know they're basically weekly sales that they always do there's always three tanks or three parts of uh kind of bundles that are at 30 percent present discount we've also got the beach party um i really enjoyed this, this vk 7501k and the nm116 is a great tank uh the beach party probably less so but it is a bit more of a rarer vehicle than normal um tanks that are kind of released we've got february tank of the month which is the super m48 which is nearer to western alliance medium uh which can actually earn quite a lot of silver in cold cold war so if you're after silver then this one can be a decent one but it isn't insanely good it doesn't get any increased uh, silver bonus but at the same time you've got quite a good potential to get quite a bit of silver um, so make of that what you will um, and that was only $9.99 or $9.99 per uh, well for this bundle it comes with 850 gold as well and three days of premium time with 10 one and a half times silver boosters if you want a vehicle and you want a tank to make some silver for $9.99 this is probably a very good price uh, considering what you're getting alongside the 850 gold as well Weekly sales, we've got uh, 20 one and a half times silver boosters for 870 gold, which isn't awful. Uh, you've got the Magash 5 Era 2 independent medium tank, and that's 6,500 or 6,400 to be precise, uh, which is okay. Uh, super savings, you've got premium time at three days, which will be at a 50% discount. Not really worth buying, to be honest with you. You've got the T3485 Rudy, which is tier 6 uh, kind of tank it's a very very powerful vehicle plays very much like the t3488 or the t3485m or the t3485 uh, in the tech tree it's basically the same sort of one just a skinned version um, and comes with a crew with uh, yorick and uh, yan or something like that um, so yeah. yeah this one doesn't actually include the commanders but yeah that's basically what they came from the bundle itself uh, and then the leopard 1a1 escalation era 2 western alliance tank uh, which i really really loved i found this tank to be one of my favorites that i play cold war with it just really suits my play style um, and yeah is a fantastic tank to actually play uh, and give a go it also gets a very nice silver bonus 165% making it very good at earning silver uh, alongside just being a very good tank so if you're after one and you want to you know spend a bit of money on the game uh, that wouldn't be a bad shout for earning silver and if you want to play cold war 
Uh, other than that, there is some contracts. Of course, we've got the Slapjack Sharpshooter and KV4KTTS, uh, and then a load of emblems that you can pick up. We've had the T34 Calliope or Calliope in the game for a while, uh, and of course, the celebrations uh, up until uh, the 4th of February. So that was, well, 4th of March, I believe. This looks like it's a bit of a... Uh, uh, what's it called? Um, an error. Um, but either way, where well resolution ended, celebrations begin, and this time you can possibly earn two reward vehicles. Use your gamer tag to log on to the celebrations companion website, where you can check your season progress, compare stats with other players from both platform, and see how far you've come on your end of the year reward. Uh, to access the celebrations website, you can click on the link here, um, and it comes to this page. We can add all, and then. I will log in to my account and I will join you back in a second. So when you log in, this is what you'll be met with. This is the current season. You've got a load of the challenges as well. And you can see the rewards uh, that come alongside the community event. Looks pretty cool. Uh, you've got the Largo. You've got the Celebration War Chest alongside the T-3488. A collectible emblem for 10 years as well. And you can see what the requirements are for this one. Uh, you can see all of the monthly challenges that come out. Uh, you can see that the anniversary one uh, is the one that we've got at the moment. And then you've got month one, two, three, blah, blah, blah. And those will come out monthly. And the season is, uh, yeah, you can see where you are on the actual season pass in a graphic style. What comes next? Um, I don't know if you can keep on going. Yep, you can drag and you can have a look at the final rewards and stuff in this sort of way. And you can see a variety of different stats uh, that is on on here and you can compare yourself against commanders so you can always compare yourself against me if you want to by using the gamer tag titan eclipse and your own gamer tag um so yeah you can see exactly how you fare compared to my statistics so far on the year of the dragon season and um, we can have a look at the full statistics uh, of me and you can see 79 percent win rate 19 wins 24 battles played um, and yeah, uh, when you compare with friends, you'll be able to see exactly what they're like and whether they've been doing better than you and rest some of those uh, cases of, oh, I think I'm better than you or whatever. And you can truly say whether or not they actually are. But either way, that is kind of where we're at with that. Um, and that's just a little extra bit. And you can see that there are some rewards and stuff like that that will come out. Um, and there is an about section which just gives you an information on uh, season progress tracking, the social media sharing, so you can see and share your statistics with other people. Uh, you can show exactly how many battles you've played in a season and what the kind of win rate is of those battles. Um, and then you've got a variety of other things. So there is two reward vehicles. Um, the reward vehicles come like we had with the previous resolution. So you've got a confidential World War II tank and a confidential Cold War vehicle. And essentially the more seasons that you complete, you'll be able to pick up both of them, etc. Um, and so, yeah, here we have a an information on that. So no, we're not revealing any details about the tanks yet, uh, but keep checking into the celebration site throughout the year for more info. Uh, if you complete five or few, fewer seasons, you will choose which one of the tanks you want to claim for free. If you complete five or fewer seasons, you will be able to buy the second tank at its full price. Um, but if you complete all six, you'll be able to get both of them, I believe. Um, so yeah, I uh, at least that's what I would assume. So the stacking discounts you can earn apply to one only one of the tanks you won't be able to split the discounts e.g apply 40% off to one and 60% off the other so maybe you are only actually able to get one of the two vehicles out of the both and you kind of pick which one you actually want to be able to get um, and that's kind of how it's going to work so it should be very interesting I'm liking uh, that they're adding in more challenges like this it'd be cooler to see them start to introduce actual challenges that are based in the game rather than having to go to a website. Um, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's going to be coming anytime soon. But hopefully that's something that they will do. Either way, that is the celebrations. There is a brand new event and that will be lasting until the 4th of February next year is what I would assume is uh, why they've got the 4th of February. Uh, it could have been a little bit clearer with having maybe the year on the bottom of it. Uh, but I would assume that that is 
indeed the 4th of February 2025, which is crazy to even think about. Uh, either way, uh, the Big Ten community event, we've got that going on right now where you can get some free vehicles and uh, yep. You've got Celebrations War Chest, you've got the King Dragon Urn Operation. We did a video yesterday which covered the King Dragon if you're interested in finding out what that's all about. And that is basically it. Uh, of course, make sure to jump into the live stream of what uh, is actually going on. And then finally, we can have a look at the statistics of the Marder VTS-1, which is this Era 2 vehicle. Um, and essentially, this is the light tank. It has a top speed of 74.2 kilometers an hour. And what's funny about this vehicle is that it's actually able to go the same speed backwards as it is forwards, uh, which might even be the first ever vehicle that has the same top speed forward as it does backwards. The only tank that actually, from memory, realistically has more reverse speed than top forward speed is the Archer, which is like a tier five uh, British uh, tank destroyer. It might even be a tier four. And that can go faster backwards than forwards. Uh, but as far as I know, there's not actually any other tanks that really go either faster backwards or the same speed backwards as maybe these two, which make it kind of novel, unique, and it should be an interesting one to see what it actually plays like in game. Uh, it looks very much like a TCM AGS. However, this one does not get an autoloader. It is a single shot vehicle. Uh, it's going to be able to earn you 55% silver. So not the biggest bonus, but certainly not the worst. Uh, so definitely able to earn silver. And uh, from the looks of it, it looks pretty good. I think it's going to be a pretty solid light tank that is able to do what it needs to do. It's hit points two and a half thousand, you know, it is in that medial range. Um, and I think, yeah, with the power to weight ratio 21, it's not going to be the fastest tank to get up to top speed, uh, but it certainly is going to be usable. Uh, and I'll do a full review in the game for you guys uh, in this week. So uh, stay tuned for that. And we'll be doing some streams as well along the way in the lead up to doing 30 days of streaming uh, on the channel, both on uh, Twitch as well as YouTube. We'll be able to kind of do both, uh, at least hopefully once I've sorted out why I am getting weird uh, kind of dropouts on Twitch compared to YouTube. But either way, we'll sort it out and we should be able to stream on both, if not just YouTube on its own um, and yeah hopefully you'll enjoy that and uh, we'll be sticking up with the videos as well alongside the actual streams but hopefully you enjoyed this video that is everything for this week on World of Tanks console and if you want any more information or some deep dives into some of the content that we're also getting this week including those challenges and stuff and the King Dragon Urn Operation then I'll leave a link on screen right now which goes to that video which covers these urn challenges that we already knew about. But hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully you enjoy this week and maybe you'll even catch me in the stream later on today. Uh, other than that, I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day and you'll join me in the next one. Goodbye.